Whenever I'm getting plain tracks on a piece of wood, the first thing I do is I put the plane up, I get a little shim of wood that's an offcut, and I want to see if a corner of the iron is digging in. So the first thing I'll do is I'll confirm that uh, the iron is centered in the mouth. So here I can see that I'm not really cutting at the corners, but I am cutting in the middle. So if that's not the problem, I'll also visually look at the iron and see if I can see any nicks in the iron from perhaps where I hit a nail or some other piece of grit and uh, look for nicks because those can look like plane tracks. If I don't see any nicks, I want to see if I can feel for the nicks. So I'll take my shim of wood and I'll get it planted on the wood and slide across the iron to see if I can feel it grab for any roughness. So that feels nice and smooth. So then the third thing is I'll hold it upside down like this and I'll feel around all the edges for any dings in the sole. And these can happen from you know hitting something in the toolbox, in your tool chest, and uh, if I feel any dings, and I've got one right up there, then I'm going to get a needle file and I'm going to file those away. And this area of the tool up here at the toe is a very common place for you to see these. And if they're deep enough, they'll definitely cause a plain track like trench in your work. And once that feels smooth, then I'll put it back to work. Now the other thing that can happen in some tools is that you'll have a burr or something uh, inside the mouth. And when that happens, you shouldn't be afraid to come in with a needle file and file the back of the mouth to remove any burrs. Sometimes you'll have burrs here where the mouth was cut in and sometimes on the front of the mouth too. So needle files are an essential part of hand plane maintenance and the war against plane tracks.